hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a reference field in odoo 17 and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create many to many field in odoo 17 please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the wavelengths channel under the playlist you can see odoo 17 development tutorial and currently we are working on this playlist and by the way this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 right and if you want to learn all the topics of the Odoo development, you can see here and once you click here, you can see different types of playlists available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. So let's back to our main topic and before that guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will motivate me and it will help me a lot. So this is a reference field in the relational types of field and this is very amazing field because this is a combination of let's say the mini to one field plus the selection field how like let's see i'm going to here in the apps i'm trying to install the cells management all right it's done now let's go to here and purchase that's good you see we have purchase invoice sales and many other so right uh let me show you one example and if really this is a very dynamic field uh if you if you already know about the relational fields let's say many to one field many to many field and one to many field all have a common thing is the it will related with the specific table only right here you can see this is a many to many field which is related with the hobby field right this is let's say again many to one field which is also again related to the specific model which is the score in the school if i'm open this record you can see one to many and again here you see again this model only related with the students right now the magic of the reference field is it's not with the one specific models record it will store into the database it will store as much models data into the database that's why it's called as a reference field let me explain you two ways the first way is how we can create that reference field in the odoo side i mean in the python side and how it works in the postgres side all right and why it is different compared to the other relational fields so here let's say models this is a student model uh, let me use the school profile because school profile don't have a too much fields here uh, let's say ref underscore field let's underscore id fields dot reference right here you can add any name of the field name here it's up to you because it will again automatically convert into the database as a colon name now after equal to we have to import from odoo these fields so you can see from odoo import fields after fields we have to represent the dot and after we have to use the reference r would be always capital otherwise it won't be work now in the parameter we have to pass as a list view selection field now if you remember see this is the field view like this way we have to mention here that particular list of tuple like this let's say and copy right but here the question is what we have to add here right in this reference field so don't worry here existing models we have to mention in the first parameter like uh, which you are you want to work so meaning let's say you want to use reference field of school reference field of students reference field of hobby reference field of the invoice let's say the cells right this field reference of the let's say here invoice right this model then after this website model let's say then after this website model right so here we have to provide the existing model name which already installed so let's say wb dot school wb dot 
student right wb dot ob because you see here this model name we have to pass here let's say sell dot order here let's say account dot move let's say here purchase dot order right those are the models actually which is available let's say here we can use as a front end side label name for this option only yeah? not this label name student hobby sell invoice purchase like this now that's it after we have to copy we have to paste here in the student field name equal to like this right and let's comment this one to many field here and I'm trying to upgrade this module but using the O PyCharm terminal minus U student and once I click here it will automatically upgrade this module in case you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm please check editor level playlist I already explained now I'm going to here in the student profile oh so I have some issue So tuple object is not callable. Ah, so you see, I forgot to add comma. So let me minimize. Refresh the screen. And I'm trying to open the school list. Right? And now you can see this that field is available now you can see school student hobby sell invoice and purchase available now the interesting thing is uh, if you remember let's say school school have total seven record is available right student uh, student having a 14 record is available right and hobby is having a, like let's say the 10 records why I'm showing you I will explain you now so let's say here first thing is I will open the school I will choose the school okay now you see here once we choose the school right immediately you can hover you can see here you have to choose the record see seven record for the student now I choose here students you can see it's give me the student list right if I'm open the hobby you can see hobby record is visible here right now once I click to sell the sell record is available here as a mini to one invoice so automatically invoice related data available here for the purchase you can see the purchase related so this is the beauty of the relational field now what is the purpose of this field right let's say if you are working with the dynamic data and you want to store here the particular models data but here you don't know the based on the logic you want to add here that uh, particular models data so in this case you have to use the reference field okay so here first thing is we have to mention like how many models we are working with so we have to assign as a reference here right this is actually the model name we have to mention and which is compulsory so let's say purchase the the this one i write down i selected here right and once i sell so you can see this record is from this purchase okay now you already understood about the front end side how it's working the back end side i mean in the database side right so let's open here uh, let me say like wb dot school right and you can see here the first thing is this is the field name we created actually its type is the character field right 
and here yes let's say select id name and ref field id from wb.school now you can see this nalanda school right nalanda school you see purchase model and this is the record we selected in the back end side this field only stores as a character as a character the first one is the model name after comma and after the record id okay so let's verify so let's duplicate this step i'm going to the purchase open and you see this id is 10 for the purchase order this model right now let's say uh, i will choose the different one the invoice inv inv2 let's say uh, i'm going to here invoices this one you see this one now the model name is account.move and id is one now you can see here the same record it store different model id if you remember in a one to many this completely field is the integer field and this is stores the foreign key of the particular model right and which is always static we have to mention the particular model only it's not work with the multiple models right so here in the reference field you can also add nalanda right like this the same record i'm storing here you can see the id is one see wb dot school and one so here like this way the reference field is working right and yes this is a combination of the selection field and the many to one field once we select the specific model after auto automatically filter the data for that particular model the records which is created right and we have to link and once it's stored so it will store in the character field this the first one would be the model name and after comma it's the record name the id name you can see this id so this is called as a reference field and which is very dynamic right dynamic means you can add here as much model name like based on your let's say requirement you can add as a models right and after it will work like this way so this is called as a reference field uh, let's say as a live example so let me go to here in the live example as i go to settings i'm trying to open the menu right and here this action right you can see those are the models the different models right and we selected here this action right so here the action related records visible if i will click to report so report related models is actually using so this one this windows action right it's always a reference field in the menu right menu means this one which you are created this action so this is the beauty of the reference field now uh, let's talk about some uh, inbuilt let's say attributes so you can also add selection equal to right if you don't want to use the selection as attribute you can use something like this or you can use like this after you can use a string reference you can add something like this so it will override the label name this label name see you can also add here invisible one oh, sorry not this one but read only refresh see now it's uh, readable it's not uh, it's completely readable i cannot edit anything after required
So here, let's say I'm trying to refresh the screen. Right. Once I click and if it is empty, so you can see the required field is working here. After that help, once I will refresh the screen, you can see here it's not having any question mark symbol, right? Now you can see having a question mark and once you hover, you can see the tooltip is display here. This is for the end user. Let's say as a developer can add here a simple note to understand what is this field purpose. After you can also use default, right? So I'm using default as a let's say wb dot student comma one. So in this case, right? Uh, here, 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 here. So you can see there is no one is there. The ID, the two is there. So two means ABC school, right? Now you can see once you create a new record in the school profile, right? So automatically the default value pop populate here. See this ABC school. So this is the part of the default value, but I'm not using here. Now let's talk about the same thing in the XML side. So in the XML side, we can use, let's say, no level one. Here compulsory, we need to upgrade the module. So once we refresh the screen, so level name would be always high, right? After that, let's say the read only, See, it's a read only. Let's say required. See, after invisible, yeah, so it's completely hide that record. See how it's work like this way. As a reference field. I hope you understood about the reference field. If you have any doubt related this field, please comment below and see you in our next session. In our next session would be how to create a related field. Alright, so see you there.